Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe because if you do that, then I'll like you a little bit more. Today we're going to shed some light on one of my favorite sunglass brands and that is Oliver Peoples. And specifically this one, the Oliver People Clifton. As seen here in the silver frame with the Midnight Express Polarized Lens. But let's take a little bit of time before we talk about the frame to talk about the company themselves. Because Oliver Peoples is very interesting as a company. Setting up shop in the 80s, Oliver Peoples initially started selling vintage eyewear and then struck out and started making eyewear on their own. And taking inspiration from the vintage eyewear that they were selling to create their own, they decided to go with something a bit more classic and a bit more old time Hollywood about it. And that's kind of What's very interesting about Oliver Peoples is their frames are classic and timeless instead of like vintage or retro. Because they pull a lot of their brand identity and a lot of their brand aesthetic from uh, the golden age of Hollywood. They're an LA based company. I mean, Italian owned, but you know. And so also what makes Oliver Peoples very interesting from a sunglass maker is that they don't do any brand detail. And as you look on any of their frames, you don't see all of our peoples, you don't see like OP really written anywhere on the frame. You just kind of have to know where to look to know that it is in fact an Oliver Peoples. So you have the stealth designer pair of sunglasses. Something that is incredibly well made and stylish, but something that really doesn't kind of pronounce its own existence. I mean, even small detailing like the Prosol Arrows or the Tom Ford Tees just seem to be a little too much for Oliver Peoples. Instead, Oliver Peoples opts for the minimal detailing and no branding, except for very small and minute ways, and even then, not on all frames. And I can hear some people say now, well, what's the point of spending a lot of money on sunglasses if it doesn't announce that it's there if there's no branding or if there's no logoing to let people know that this is in fact a very nice pair of sunglasses. And certainly I can be sympathetic to that point, but that's kind of misses the point of Oliver Peoples. Oliver Peoples just wants to make classic, uh, very good looking pairs of sunglasses that are still very well made without using its own cachet of its existence on its frame. Just the fact that these are very well made and very good looking will stand up on their own. So that's just kind of what makes Oliver People unique in its own sector. So let's move on and talk about the frames themselves. As I said before, these are the Oliver People's Clifton or the OV1150, if you nasty. These are a 58 millimeter lens with a 15 millimeter bridge. Hmm. And these are a caravan type shape. For those who are uninitiated, and we are the initiated, a caravan type shape is a squared off version of an aviator. As you can see here, an aviator kind of droops down a little bit more, where a caravan type shape is just squared off at the bottom. So what this is, is a bit more fashionable and it's a bit more stylish. It has sharper lines than an aviator and doesn't necessarily droop down like an aviator does. See how this kind of slopes down a little bit more where a caravan is squared off. So it gives you these sharper lines and it kind of works better with sharper jaws. I don't know, I just really like squared off aviators. They kind of work for me and they, to me they look really good and classic and kind of different than the standard aviator. But, you know, I still have a lot of aviators. But I think this might be the best example of what a classic caravan type frame is. The lines on it are just sharp and acute without it being cutting. The 58mm lens is actually quite a big lens for a caravan type frame. But to prevent them from looking too obtuse on a face, it has a very small bridge so it helps bring in the frame itself and doesn't look like it's trying to swallow my face. So since Oliver Peoples doesn't do a lot of brand logoing, a lot of detailing in general, that allows them to look at the frame itself and think to themselves, how can we just improve upon a classic frame? So they look at it very closely, they make sure all the proportions are right, and then they also think of, well, since we're not doing like any etching details or anything like that, what can we do just to improve the overall integrity of the frame in general? And they do that in a couple of different places. Uh, one thing to take a note is, like I said, this is almost a perfect example of what you want out of a classic caravan type frame. Every kind of thing kind of flows together, um, especially right here at the brow bar. See, this brow bar, a lot of times I've seen caravan type frames kind of try to overcompensate for the squareness of the frame, by making this kind of soft and almost curved down a little bit like a smile. I don't like that. I uh, also don't like it whenever it's too rigid. So they just have a slight enough dip in there to make it not seem so, you know, caveman brow, but also 
to make sure that the frame itself doesn't look like it's smiling at you. Another interesting thing of note is the frame hinge. So I've talked at length previously about how other brands try to find ways around making sure that the glasses don't push pressure right here on the temples. Oliver People's solution is a very unique way in which they design the hinge. So if you look right here, you can see how the front face of the frame and the ear socks line up, but there is a curve right here of the actual ear stock that kind of curves into the hinge. And what this does is allows pressure to be alleviated off the temples without having to compromise on the size of the frame or the size of the lenses themselves. So they're adding the width of the frame onto the ear socks themselves instead of trying to add it somewhere in the lens or in the bridge. So, you know, that's really cool. And as we move down the temples, you can see it has a small taper till the ear socks. The ear socks are actually the next interesting detail I want to talk about. Say traditionally with metal frames, there's a few different ways to tackle the concept of the ear socks. Uh, with most of the time, what it is, it's a uh, acetate or nylon uh, covering over the actual ear stock. And with more recent and trendy efforts, just continuing the line of metal all the way down to the ear stock. And they both have their advantages. With the traditional acetate ear socks, it's uh, thicker and it's a bit more comfortable and it kind of grips a little bit more, while the metal one is a little bit sleeker and kind of easier to put on. Oliver People's solution to this riddle is to create a custom silicon wrapping over the stem itself. Looking at here, you kind of have two different pieces. You have this slicker piece of silicon on the tips of it, and then you have this much more porous, much more grippier piece of silicon that wraps around over uh, the center part. And what this allows for is a little bit of best of both worlds. It's easy to put on, but the grippier part of the silicon is actually what's making contact with back of the ears a little bit more, so it's able to grip more and hold more and not slide off, but still being very easy to put on and take off. See, nothing but ease. But enough about the frame, let's talk about the lenses. Again, I would like to reiterate that the name of the color of this lens is the Midnight Express Polarized Lens. And the reason I want to reiterate it is because uh, it's the coolest name for lens ever. Midnight Express sounds like the coolest name for the 1970s detective movie that I've never seen. So kudos all over people's lens naming department. You get a thumbs up from me. And another thumbs up because these lenses are the bourbon lens. So it Feels like you're directly marketing towards me, and uh, I appreciate it, but it's a little weird. But, as you might expect, something named the Midnight Express lens is a pretty dark lens. See, this is a very dark gray lens, and gray lens can kind of be a loaded phrase sometimes, because a gray lens can kind of run the spectrum from a, uh, an actual color of gray lens, like the color of my suit, to almost like a black lens. And that's just kind of said it's gray. This firmly is a very dark, but still wants to be a gray lens, if that makes any sense. I would say that it's probably a charcoal gray lens, but it also has like some green hues in the lens itself. It is a glass, anti-reflective, and polarized lens. So which means it is very clear looking out of these. And the polarization on these lenses are incredible. It reduces harsh lasers of glare effortlessly. It doesn't stop there because this is also an Oliver People's VFX lens. Well, what is VFX lens? VFX is, is uh, Oliver People's high contrast uh, lens. You might be asking, well, what is a VFX lens? Well, VFX lenses are Oliver People's lenses that kind of uh, enhance colors and enhance color contrast, kind of in the same way that like a Ray-Ban Chromance does or like a Maui Gem does, but not quite to the same level. It's just enough for you to notice, and that kind of helps make this gray lens not seem so drab because a lot of times gray lens can kind of just wash everything out. These don't. These kind of heighten colors and heighten color contrast. Did I mention these are glass lenses because there's glass lenses and I will touch on that a little bit, but glass lenses are very important because the greatest color clarity and the greatest scratch resistance comes out of glass lenses. But not only are these glass lenses, these are Barberini glass lenses. Not only are they Barberini glass lenses, they're all over people's Barberini glass lenses. I need a drink of water after that sentence. So what is so special about a Barberini glass lens? Well, Barberini is actually one of the premier uh, glass lens makers for all types of manufacturing, but they're really known for their work with Oliver Peoples. They make some of the clearest and strongest optical glasses out there. And they also have one really cool feature. You want to know what it is? See, as I said earlier, Oliver Peoples eschews from any kind of brand logoing at all. And that includes on the lenses. 
See, with most people, uh, they'll write their name or have some kind of logo on the lenses themselves, but all of the people have opted not to, except that they have. See, all of the people, see, Barberini and all of the people have developed what they call a breath logo lens. And so this is used as just kind of a unique feature for all of our people as a way to test out its authenticity. And it's only on their glass lenses. So sorry if you have a plastic lens from all of our people, you don't get this cool little party trick. Looking at the lenses itself, you can't really notice anything. You don't see it or anything like that. And so the way to reveal it is simply by breathing on the lens. And as it fogs up, it will reveal the logo. See, it reveals itself on both lenses. So ain't that just all types of cool? So I'm very curious to hear, uh, what are you guys' thoughts on all of people's? Do you have a pair? Do you want a pair? Anything like that, just comment below and let me know. Also, anything else you'd like to hear my thoughts on. I Obviously, I do a lot of sunglass reviews on this channel, but I also like to do a lot of luxury reviews and fragrance reviews on this channel. So if you have something in mind, please comment and let me know, and I'll try and get to it. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to like it and send it to someone who you think might like it as well because, you know, hey, what's up? And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because, you know, I did this for you and I want you to appreciate it by subscribing to me so I can make more videos for you so then you can subscribe more to me. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, you can click right here to subscribe or you can click right here to watch more. And uh, I'll see you later.